Hello. Today we're going to continue talking about deep learning. We're going to focus on the advantages of deep learning with its multiple layers, the impact this has on feature engineering, and how deep learning has revolutionized fields such as image recognition and text analysis. And we're going to continue using this nice tool at TensorFlow Playgrounds Tools. So let's start with where we left off last time. We had built a very shallow network with lots of feature engineering with one hidden with one layer there which allows us to approximate a very complex polynomial function and you can see it's able to classify successfully the orange data from the blue data which is the goal of this problem now what we're going to do is, is we're going to take another approach where we're going to take use a deep learning approach now deep learning involves multiple hidden layers. So let's go ahead and kind of max out. And there's a few other settings that I want to change as well up here at the top. All right, now that we've reset our network, let's go ahead and watch the deep learning network learn the data. As you're watching, some things you wanna watch are the number of iterations, right? How many times the data has gone through the network to learn. You also wanna look at the loss scores over here, right? With a focus on the test loss, which is what we wanna drive down as low as possible. And by looking at the relationship between training and test loss, we can see how well our network is learning. Right at this point, the training loss is going down a little bit, and the test loss hasn't done that. So let's just give it some more iterations and hope we can pull that test loss down as well. All right. If you're watching, you can see at this point, we've gone through a lot of iterations. Those important scores are still heading down. You can look at the visualization. You can see that it's slowly trying to separate that orange from the blue. It's getting closer and closer. It looks like it just hit a breakthrough here and you see all the scores have dropped considerably as it's sitting there kind of just learning it. And here it took a couple hundred iterations, but at this point you can see that it's doing a pretty good job of separating the blue and the orange from each other. Now the key I want to point out again is, is we did this without a lot of feature engineering. We only used the two inputs, the X1, the X2. Right? It's to take the way the deep learning network is working is it's using those X1, X2. Now if you look at kind of what's going on on these individual neurons, you'll see right at this first layer, you see just large blocks of how it's separating out the data from each other, right? As the, you go into the layers, you'll see it's more fine-tuned, other little pieces that it's using to help separate the data. And it's because of all these layers how a deep learning network is, works. And this has really big implications when we're talking image and text analysis where feature engineering is very hard to do. Think about how you can break up a sentence, right? Or break up a picture, and try to develop specific features for that. And this is one of the reasons why deep learning has had a lot of popularity and a lot of success in these other fields. Um, I hope this intro has given you a good understanding of how deep learning works. This is an awesome visualization tool. We've barely kind of scratched the surface. There's a lot more parameters here you can play with. I encourage everybody to kind of go and check this out. Thank you very much.